anyways, you guys, we're, we're talking about the colors of who you are, and we're talking about being okay with sharing your story a thousand and one times because that's, that's your business. That is the core of your business. So some of you guys may right now not, not, you know, not know, like, what is my story? What, what am I? So I want everybody, if you can, break out a piece of paper and a pen. And we're going to talk about 10 things. We're going to list out 10 things tonight. And these 10 items are, these 10 things are, um, um, these 10 things are things that you are, okay? And then we're going to narrow them down to five, okay? So this is like assignment number one, and you guys will learn a lot in the boot camp, so you're going to be able to take this, and hopefully you have a separate binder for notes and stuff like that, and you can always come back to this and apply it when you are ready to apply it, okay? So I want you guys to take about two to three minutes, and I want you guys to think of things Anything under the sun that is who you are, okay, and what you like, okay? I'll give you two of mine. I'm a mom, and I have two kids. Or I'm a, I have two kids, and I'm a hairdresser, all right? So take a few minutes here and just write out those things of who you are and what your, what your colors are. I'm a mom, I'm a daughter, I, you know, I have a job, I have children, um, I love ice cream, I love pickles, I, whatever, I mean, uh, these, seriously, like, these are the things we talk about, you know, I love beef jerky, I love movie night, I love horror films, I love margaritas, I love, it's okay, I'm a cat mom and a student. There we go. Oh, Tiffany's, uh, Tiffany's, she's at work, I think. So Kif, uh, Tiffany's saying, I'm a cat mom and she's a student. So this is cool. So keep going. Just take your time. Give you guys a few minutes to kind of just go over. My kids can be so loud. I'm just boomeranging you all real quick. Word. <laughs> Boomerang. So I'm doing my, this is day one of my three-day refresh. And tomorrow I might be crying, but it's okay. I'm gonna finish. No, you ain't got it. I know, I got it. I got it. I got this. I got this. We're here for you, babe. I'm like, I can do it. I can do it. I can do it. Got it. I can do it. If I can do a glucose That's test for three girl. hours, I can do anything. Which really sucked when I failed my glucose test. I was like, what the F, man? You may sit in this homeless looking shelter of a place to draw blood for three hours. Ah! That's horrible. Um, look how cute Kelly is in her winter hat. Wear y'all winter hats. Hmm. Somebody didn't get the memo. You're supposed to be wearing your winter hat. I'm in Texas. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I just finished my workout. Yeah, wear a winter hat when you work out, Sydney. It okay. was 72 degrees here today. Ew. <laughs> they're, they're, they're calling for snow on when possibly on Saturday, but I doubt it. I don't believe it's going to happen. I'm not a believer anymore. I've lost it. All right. So if anybody, and you don't have to have 10 right now, but if you have, you know, more than one, more than two. That's a great place to start. So um, I'm gonna go around the room and I'm gonna I'm gonna um, ask you guys to share what the colors of you are. All right. So who wants to start? I will. All right, hit it. Things that I am: sweet, kind, loving, friendly, dependable, caring, sensitive, determined, driven. Love it. Now and I want then, you to, I want, wait, go ahead. Do you have more? No, no, no. Okay. I want you to be more specific. I want you to be, what do you like? Do you like tacos? Do you like Yeah, movies? I put that on there too. What do you like? Go. Let me hear. Um, I am a young woman, woman looking for my forever after. I'm a toddler teacher who loves her children. I love helping, pe helping people see their worth. I love dolphins and dogs. I love the beach. I love the movies and I love country music. Love it. Toddler, dolphins. Oh, Kenzie. Hi, Dad. Okay. I'm, I'm in one of my family guns. <laughs> You're such a tattletale, I swear 
swear to God. <laughs> you want to watch Family Guy? <laughs> you can't watch Family Guy. Go downstairs. Go find something else to watch. Why don't you go watch that Boomerang show? Yeah. Family Guy. Jeez, All right, who wants to go next? I'll go. I love palm trees and musicals. Oh, that's cute. Where do you know Family Guy? I'll go next. Okay, go. Um, I said, I'm a mom, I'm a hairstylist, I'm also a dog mom. Uh, and then from what Sydney said, I said I'm fiery and I'm loyal. Uh, I love pizza, Prosecco, dogs, punk rock, beaches, and the sun. Love it. You guys yeah. are going good so far. I got two for two. Who's next? If you're, if you're able to share. Kelly. Yes, sir. Um, I'm a mom of two kids, two girls. My favorite is chocolate, pizza. I do love dolphins as well. I also um, am a sister this is so and heavy. a daughter, and uh, I also can do hair, too. I'm a cosmetologist, but I don't do it as my profession. Wow. Oh, so, shucks. Shouting. Yeah. I guess that's about it. <laughs> 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 I love it. <laughs> Um, okay, so Tiffany is, she's in the middle of something, but she's a cat mom, a student. Um, she loves palm trees and musicals. And Sharona actually is here. She's an Emerald coach, but she's taking notes for me. So then we can transfer everything over for you guys in a PDF file. Okay, so with this list, this is, now I want you to narrow it down to your top five, okay? What are your top five? five that you that that is you okay um mine are i'm a mom um i'm a wife um i love fashion i love food and i love wellness so those are my five okay so when you narrow it down to five, and if you if you see all of yours right there, you might be able to actually break, get condensed all of them into one. You know what I'm saying? Like if you say like I'm dependable, I'm reliable, da da da, da you might just say um, I love to, I love, I'm I'm a motivator. Do you know what I'm saying? Like you got to condense it into one thing. You know. So when you have your five, I want you to type them in the chat, okay? And then we're gonna talk about them. All right. And I'm going to do mine, too. I do. I really like them. Oh, there's my last one. Good Lord. Sorry, I forgot my, my last one. So where, how do we chat it? Okay, so if you're on your cell phone, it might be hard for you to do, but there, it, there should be like a little thing if you play around with it, and it will um, allow you to chat, and then you can type. It might be. And if it doesn't, you can just, we can just say yours. It's not that big. I can type them for you when you talk. So don't stress. Not a big deal. Where are you? All right. So we have them. All right. They're all coming in here. Give you guys like a min another minute or two. <laughs> Woodrow would be doing the same thing. Mm -hmm. Still with Granny. <laughs> Fidget spinners. <laughs> They're so silly.
going so fast. All right, we got Sydney. I'm a motivator. I love the beach, children. I love country music. I love finding what's hidden inside of me. Love it. Okay, we have mom, dog, pizza, son, honesty, challenge, loyalty, because I love, love it. All right, so as these keep rolling in, um, what you're going to create on your Facebook page, remember, I, I'm always going to use one word, and and Tiffany actually called me out on it because she's caught on to it. It's the word rhythm, okay? Everything that I am trying to help you with and teach you is what I did when I had to put my head down and get to work. I had to find my rhythm. So my rhythm is going to be different from everybody else's rhythm in this room, right? However, the cool part about this is that we're all doing it together. So we all really have one rhythm, but they're differently orchestrated, okay? Which makes us a symphony. I know that sounds really corny, but it's really, really, really true. Do you know what I'm saying? It's how we all move. It's how we all operate. It's how we function. So the, the five that I, for me are fashion, family, wellness, motivation, and food, okay? Those are my top five. Those are the things that you are going to see on my Facebook page and wellness usually also falls into recognition because now I'm talking more about the coaching. I'm recognizing a challenger. You know, you might say, I don't have anybody to recognize right now. Yes, you do. You have one of your team members. You can shout them out. You can make them a pretty little thing. You can shout out anybody who's on your Facebook page who has just been a rock star supporter and you can tag them and make their day. Like, Hey, I want to give a shout out to Tiffany. Oh my gosh. She's been like, loving on my posts and I just want to surprise her with like just have a great day I mean could you imagine if I was scrolling somebody's Facebook page and I saw a notification that you just randomly shouted me out and just said bless me with a great day that would be freaking cool if I saw that on my Facebook page right so don't never say you can't do something find the way to make it happen get creative about it right you know what I did for the longest time in my beginning of my career for recognition? I went to the Facebook page of Beachbody and I would copy a picture and make it my own and say, I'm giving a shout out to Sarah even because she is part of Beachbody. I saw that I could do that. So I did it. I'm just shouting out another team Beachbody person. There's nothing wrong with that. It's not making me phony. I'm giving a shout out to somebody else. So get creative about your shout outs. You know what I mean? Make them fun. Um, but these top five, this is what you should talk about every single week. If you're a cat lover, you know what? People might want to start seeing your cat every day and laying in that funny position or when they eat the plant, like they are going to start seeing like, that's, that's Tiffany, the cat lover and her cat always eats the plants. You know what I mean? Like you showcase that, right? Like I am going to talk about, I love food. So I'm going to show my food pics once a week, right? I'm going to show them what I'm eating for dinner and I'm going to make them look really pretty, right? I'm going to get a special lighting that costs less than 10 bucks on Amazon to take a picture of my food, right? Simple little moves. You know what I'm saying? Wellness, right? That's where I'm going to show maybe a tip about water or a sleeping technique or posting that I just rocked my accountability group. So I'm dipping that in and I'm breadcrumbing that in. It's not being sneaky. It's just sharing what I'm doing. So just make ease on that family. I might show my whole family over at my sister's house because we get together all of the time. I might show if I'm into movies, I might show me sitting in the movie theater with my big bag of popcorn. You want to show that you're just a normal person, but Beachbody is also part of your life. So if you, if, if you go to your Facebook page today and scroll your Facebook posts, I will tell you the things that you should not do, okay? And I want you guys to write this down. Don't share a lot of posts. Sharing doesn't get you out there in the algorithms. It keeps you stagnant. 
Okay, so that's just a, 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 a security feature for you guys to make sure you're you're reaching a little bit, right? Your job is to reach people. That's all you just need to reach people. Sharing a recipe is fine, but you could you could go a little further and actually type it out and take a picture of the recipe and then make it your own. Do you see how that works? So you just start thinking a little more outside of the box. Um, sharing is great, but not all of the time, okay? If you guys have questions, write them into the chat and I will answer them at the end of the call. Um, so I wouldn't share, like copy and pasting, don't do that. Try to be an original with all of your stuff because people wanna see it from you. I could very well copy and paste a recipe off of Pinterest, but if I had the dish, you know, sitting like this right here, but I just copy and pasted the recipe, but I had myself, that's more relatable, right? Versus then just, uh, let me just share this, the like this great recipe. That really doesn't take a lot of effort and no one really cares. They see, when they see something like this, you know, it's like, wow, what did she make? That's kind of cool, right? And you're like, hey, dude, I got this off of Pinterest. It's the bomb, you know? I'm a Pinterest girl. Like, that could be another part of who you are, right? So you want to make sure that you, like, kind of flow with a pattern. So you want to create, like, a pattern. So you're going to get this really cool thing in the boot camp, which is a, um, a, a like, a scheduling post system, okay? And that's going to help you create things. So, like, on Monday, you know, it could be motivation day. Tuesday could be, you know, transformation day, but you talk about a wellness tip because that's one of your top five. You see what I'm saying? And then you kind of just start to like finagle it in there. So just think of your top five things for now and share them. Guys, if you're a person who eats a Snicker bar, don't be afraid to share a Snickers bar. We are, I love when people look at me. I had a girl over Christmas break, a client, and goes, oh, I was going to give you this, this chocolate box. Oh, wait, you probably don't eat that. And I was like, are you freaking kidding me? Give me that box. That's why the good, good Lord made treat meals. Hello? Like, and I took a picture of me eating that chocolate because that's me. Uh, that's me. Like I drink margaritas. I work out. I drink energize. I don't like my dog Packer that pees on my rug all the time. I talk about it all the time on my Instagram stories. Like that is me. But I will tell you this, if you're just showing one thing, like I work out, 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 I work out. People will not care. They can't relate to you. And that to me is kind of almost a form of puking beach body, right? And I was so guilty of that in the beginning. So if you've done it or you you might be doing it, I don't know, just make sure you're creating different colors because you're more than just a push-up. You're more than just Shakeology. You're more than just this, right? They need to be, you have to be relatable. And relatable is what is the golden ticket, the Willy Wonka of the whole thing. Does that make sense? Steffi and I, when we went to Summit, one of my videos, if you see my Instagram stories, is the very end of my video. And we're eating hot dogs with ketchup and mustard and relish. And there's these big ass hot dogs. And I love it because that's what we had at Summit, and it was delicious. You know what I mean? So you got to think of those things as we go along. So I want to make sure I'm answering questions with you guys, but we're going to move really quickly over to the coach assessment, all right? So because we only have about a few more minutes remaining, I want to make sure I stay on time so you guys can get to your families and loved ones. The coach assessment, um, if you filled it out, and if you didn't fill it out, that's okay. We're going to go around the room and get your piece of paper out. And I want you to make 15 whys and no's. Just do a why and a no, a why and a no, a why and a no, a why and a no. Yes, no. Or you can even tally as we go along. It doesn't matter. You can make a why section and a no section, okay? But I want you to seriously take this PDF file and I want you to give yourself a coach assessment either once a week, twice a week, Three times, you know, every three weeks or once a month. Because this assessment, guys, this is not a quiz on how great or how you're not bad. There's never a bad here. This is legit to help you recognize, okay, this is where I'm at. 
this is where I need to go. And maybe I need to implement one thing this week, all right? So we're gonna go down the list and you're just going to circle yes or no, and then at the end, you're gonna tally up your yeses and your noes, okay? But go back, literally, you guys, go back into your message thread and print this off, because you're gonna to wanna, to, I, I do this, I assess myself every two weeks, I assess myself. I give, I'm the, I'm the teacher. So if I did really bad, or not bad, but not great, or maybe I should have done something else, it shows me, okay, Stace, this is what you need to do next week. All right, that's all it is. That's all it is. These are just tools to help you grow. All right, yes or no. Now, are you being proof the product works? Yes or no. That's all it is. And that's your own interpretation. So answer it truthfully. Are you still active in your Beach Body account? That means did you have you delayed your Shakeology? If you haven't delayed your Shakeology, you're active. Are you currently receiving a monthly subscription product? That's Shakeology. Right here on the table. So we're going right here on the table. Have you completed a program from start to finish? Now this says this year. We just started this year. We can say last year. Did you complete a program from start to finish? And if you're just joining us, this question really isn't going to apply to you until later down the road. Do you listen? Should we, should, Go ahead. Should we put no on that one? You can, yeah, because then I'll give you a goal. Um, do you listen to the national wake-up call each week, live or a recording? And if you don't know what that is, don't worry about it. <laughs> Sorry, I'll tell you what that is. <laughs> do you get on your team call, live or recording? Are you registered for Summit? Are you planning to attend your next Super Saturday? And again, if you don't know what these things are, do not stress. This is how we learn and we grow. Can you verbalize why you want blank? Meaning, do, why do you want this business? Why do you want to be a coach? Can you verbalize that? So if someone came up to you and you were having dinner and was like, Stace, why are you a coach? I can go like that, so all right? So are you showing up on your social media daily? Are you posting on purpose slash with strategy? Did you hit success club last month? That means you've helped three people. And I can, I'm gonna go into that in the boot camp too for new people. Did you finish a personal development book last month from start to finish? Did you successfully implement a tip, a tool, or strategy from a recent training? Are you actively engaged with everyone on your team? All right. So this quiz, I will tell you, was given to me by Christina Delgado, who happens to be the top bad Bama Jamma from our upline upline, which is Diesel Nation. And I pretty much flunked it the first time I took it. And I was like, hmm, I was like, oh, that's good. That's great. But when people were starting to get like a kind of emotional from it, um, I'm just going to tell you what she told me. It's not for you to get emotional. It is the greatest tool for you to see the roadmap to your success. And that is what makes us work. So for example, let's say you're going to tally these up right now. And as you tally them up, you can just write them in the comments, how many yeses and nos you had. But this is going to give you the blueprint to where you need to grow, right? We all need a place to grow. What if we all just started and you had nowhere to go? Like you were like, okay, I'm a coach, now what? Right? You wouldn't know where to go. And if we didn't know where to go, we wouldn't know where to go to, right? So these are these small little things. If you're a brand new coach, you're probably gonna have more no's than yeses. Totally freaking normal, not the end of the world. It is a great place to see because a lot of people won't look 
even at their fitness journals, you guys, to see if their food is on track and they wonder why they're gaining weight. Do you know what I mean? If you're not owning your business and you're not owning your fitness and just looking at what the numbers are, I mean, I'll tell you what, if I didn't look at my numbers at the doctor's office when they told me your cholesterol is high, your blood pressure is high, your A1C is ridiculous, what would I have done if I didn't know, but I did kind of know, but what would I have done? I had to look at those numbers and be like, all right, safe, game on, right? And then I took action. And I took one little thing and one little thing and one little thing and one little thing, right? So these are great, you guys. These numbers are amazing. So what I love is that now you have a platform to grow. This is not a test. This is not a you are great or good or bad. It's this is where I'm at. And this is where I'm okay to be. And now I know, well, maybe next week I need to get on and do the, you know, uh, national wake up call. I need to start trying that a little bit. If you don't make it, that's okay, right? So I just want you guys to know, this is something that I do. This is something that all top coaches do. And it's just a roadmap for you to make sure that you are okay proceeding forward. It's not to make you stressed out. It's to make sure you know, all right, cool. Maybe I just need to try the wake up call one time. Maybe that's what I'm, my goal for the month, okay? So don't stress. Like Sydney is saying, is being a warrior the same thing as being a motivator? It's however you interpret. I would have to say, I would narrow it down more to that you just like to motivate because you, you are someone who loves to create motivation and encouragement. So, you know, once a week on your Facebook, I would do some type of motivation and then talk about other things. You could show like you went to the movies with Ayla. You could talk about like you love going to the movies with your bestie. You know, all, all, you love going to bingo. Like all of those colors. Think of all of those beautiful things because that's who you are, you know? I know, it's great. So does anybody have, we have about seven minutes left and I want to open it up to the group. I want you guys to um, ask questions about what we've talked about, um, anything that popped up for you that you have a question about. Let's open it up for open discussion before we wrap up and call it a night. Anybody? No. It's a PDF file. Um, I will, it's not on, it's not on our, it's not on Team Epic Journey. It's on the other page. So I will send that to you. I'll send that to you so you can take a look at it. Or I'll just add you to the, I'll add you to the Emerald group thread. That'll just be the easiest thing. And then you can scroll if it's in there. You're welcome. You're welcome. Yeah. All right, guys. So if nobody has any questions, then I think we're just going to wrap this pony up. But if you still are thinking about what your top five things are, just take your time on it. And honestly, it developed for me within about a period of a month to three months. So it's not something that you need to have by the end of tonight, right? It's something that you might slowly start to see, like, I'm a mo motivator. I, there's one top coach that we know her because she loves pickles. That's why I said pickles. Because I know her because she loves pickles and she talks about pickles, right? There's another one, um, Emily, um, who Tiff or Tiffany loves to follow Emily. What does she show all the time on Instagram stories? Her dogs, right? Her dogs. That's all she shows is her dogs. You guys, she doesn't even talk about Beachbody. She talks about her dogs. Am I right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's it. Goose, Goose and Maverick. I love them. Did she get that new little puppy, the little Dalmatian? Did you see that? Oh. Yeah, it's her best friend's dog. See? Do you see that? Um, there's one girl, um, Raina Odell, that when she is about to work out, she puts on her gangster glasses and she raps rap songs. Nobody knows what beach body. And when she pours, when she drinks her Shakeology, she's pouring it into a different cup and she's dancing. She, they have, like, if you notice these people, they have that one thing that, and they're doing it over and over and over and over and over and over again. So What's really cool is, here's something to be kind of inspired by. Emily, do you think she would have a, a, a million dollar business by just showing her dogs? What does that tell you? You don't have to go. 
got my shake or yeah. here's my beach bar. Like this is old hummus, by the way. So like, you don't have to do that, right? People just want to see you walk your journey. And it's not about being perfect. It's not about anything at all. So these top coaches, some of them just show their babies all day long, you know, because that's what they're attracting moms, right? So what I'm trying to tell you is this, you don't have to turn into somebody that you aren't already. You actually get to discover who you are because you're a coach and share just that. I couldn't, I mean, honestly, you guys, if you are in the, the coaching seat peak, go in there and watch these two women share their heart. And all you're going to hear is just that. And that just comes with training and time and repetition. And I mean, Tiffany has been in there for what, three months? You do the potty? Okay, good. We have to go. Okay. So on that note, if I don't go, we have, we're going to have a peeing pants party. So I got to go. So with that said, you guys have a wonderful, mm -hmm. wonderful mm -hmm. night. This call is recorded. I'm going to post it into the push for emeralds. I hope this helped scroll and keep this and do a self check-in, whether you do it once a week, twice, a, you know, every two weeks or once a month, this is your guideline. Use it and, and, and excel. I can only tell you that this works for me and I know it will work for you. All right. And Sharona took notes. So she's going to post that in our little go for Emerald group for you guys. Have a wonderful night. Love you all. Good night. I got to go. Bye. We're going, we're going. Oh God. Bye. <laughs>